Hi, I'm Dan Chambers, and I'm the founder of Chambers Law Firm. This is the latest in a series of videos that I'm putting together to help you understand the criminal procedure and process involved in your felony or misdemeanor case. We've already talked about misdemeanors, and now we're sort of into the heart of a felony case. And last time, we talked about the critical point of your case called your arraignment, where you're advised of the charges, you enter your not guilty plea, and you get the initial police reports in your case. Today, I want to talk about the next step in that process, which is called the pretrial and preliminary hearing phase of your case. In a felony case, most courts in Southern California will set what's called a pretrial. What happens at that pretrial is that, generally speaking, if a deal can be made in your case that's acceptable to you and to the district attorney, the pretrial is the time to do it. Typically, the best offer you're going to see on your case is made at the pretrial, and the negotiations that take place at that point are very, very important. Your attorney needs to be prepared, and you do as well, to make some very important and maybe difficult decisions about your future. But let's assume for the moment you can't reach a deal at the pretrial. Then you're going to have what's called a preliminary hearing. Some of the old timers still call it a preliminary examination. But the purpose of it is simple. The district attorney gives you sort of a movie trailer of their case. A judge listens to the evidence and decides two things. Did you commit the crime? Is there enough evidence to dis establish you did? And two, were the elements of the charges against you proven by the district attorney? Now, it's important to remember, it's not a trial. It doesn't mean you're guilty. In fact, the judge's standard is very low. It's probable cause. In other words, he only has to hear evidence sufficient enough that a police officer would have to have to arrest you. It's a very low burden. So don't panic if the judge holds you to answer. That's the technical term used if the judge believes there's enough evidence for the case to go forward. If he does find that, you move on to the next step of the process, and I'll cover that in my next video. I hope that this video has been helpful and informative to you, and more than likely, you still have a lot of questions you'd like answered. We at Chambers Law Firm pride ourselves in effectively communicating with our clients and trying to answer all of your questions about your specific case. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns you might have about your case. And for our prospective clients, we always provide a free consultation, and we have Spanish speakers available to assist you if necessary. Thank you very much for watching.